Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I'm a breast cancer surgeon and a national level faculty for surgery. In this video, I'm going to be talking about MRCS as an option after your MS degree. So I'm going to talk about MRCS as a course. What are the advantages of doing MRCS and how does one go about preparing for it? Okay. So MRCS basically means member of Royal College of Surgeons. It is a UK based degree which you get once you clear two exams that is part A and part B. Now, what is the advantage of clearing this exam for an Indian postgraduate who's finished their MS? Well, number one, you get an additional degree to add that is the MRCS degree and it's quite a prestigious one. Number two, you get an option to work in UK once you've done your MRCS, you can get your GMC registration done and there are a lot of opportunities, job opportunities in UK for surgeons. The third one is that when you're applying for a job in a corporate hospital or if you're applying for a job in the Middle East, if you have your MRCS degree, you are accepted more easily and you can negotiate a higher pay package for yourself as well. So these are the three basic um, reasons why postgraduates tend to do the MRCS exam. Now MRCS exam, as I told you, is uh, conducted in two parts. You have part A and part B. Part A is the MCQ exam, whereas part B is the OSCE or the clinical exam. Nowadays, both the exams are taking place all over the world and there are quite a few centers in India as well. Let's talk about the part A exam first. For the part A exam, it's an MCQ exam which would have questions from surgery, but also basic anatomy, surgical physiology and orthopedics as well. So to prepare for part A, you usually need a four to five month period and the books which you need to be thorough, which you need to read thoroughly are of course, Bailey, which is the Bible for surgery, an orthopedics book for Indian graduates, you can use Maheshwari. For your basic sciences part, there's a book called Raftari, which summarizes the anatomy, the physiology and the other basic uh, sciences elements which are asked in the, in the MCQ or the part A exam. So four to five months is adequate and these exams occur two to three times a year and in various locations all across the country okay so that's how you need to keep it simple for part a nothing more than that now part b is an oski exam for an indian postgraduate i would say the best time to appear for it is once you've done your post graduation within a year after that is the best time to appear for this exam and the preparation for oski is pretty much similar to your practical exam and you also need to brush up things which you've read for part A. In addition to this, a very important aspect of uh, part B or the OSCE exam is the communication skills aspect. And I've seen a lot of postgraduates falter in that element. So, you know, um, what I would recommend is talk to somebody who's cleared the exam, practice with them for some time and also surgical residents you need to practice your orthopedic examination as well so you know ask somebody to mentor you during this period and a one to two month period is enough to crack the part b exam as well so these were the basics regarding how to go about preparing for mrcs for an indian postgraduate if you have any further queries please do write in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer your queries Hope you find this video useful. Thank you.